The word of God says, give honor to those who are due. Hallelujah. Amen. With the hand clap to the glory of God, let us welcome to the prophet, a servant of God, and be sure, and of the water of the West Wall, Virginia, USA. Lift up your hand. You are in church. Be in the spirit. Stop being carnal. You are before Christ. You came here to be blessed. Stop being carnal. Don't pay attention to me. You came here to seek from God. Be in that mood so that your time here will not be wasted. And uh, can you increase the volume on my microphone a little bit, sir? Now wave an offering unto Jesus. As you wave, open your mouth and just begin to lift up the name of the Lord. Be one of Nasa Senate and we are two. Open your mouth and just begin to bless him in the house. As Christians, as believers, as you, you must be full. The Bible says, I will enter his court with. So if you are here, you are moody. And your bishop is speaking, and you are safe. I want to go and work. Charlie Bull and Jacob Mini. While you are here, you know one thing? I came from the United States of America to be here to bless you. Since you have left your home to be here, you should be ready to take the blessing home. If you are ready, make a joyful noise in the house. And listen to this. Why are you are here? Italy here. Yeah? Maybe about five years ago, ten years ago, this is not a number that I should expect here. A lot of people left town. Not just that. When COVID-19 came, one of the countries that COVID killed so many people is Italy. So if you are alive and you are still on this soil, this land, God has a plan for you. If you know the Lord has a plan for you, can you make a joyful noise in this house? Oh, 
song that just dropped on my heart. I don't know all the words, but can, can, can I try? Oh, you know, Kwafu Nyami. Have you heard it before? Auntie Yaran Sun, no, yeah? They have become what they are saying. So, Oma? Nisa, no, Swa. Oh, come on, Tom Fool, yeah. Where do you want Tom Fool, so? Mama, God bless you. Samirania, why, yeah, yeah. If you are here, can I prophesy? You are blessed in this house. Oh, church, can you make a job for money? Can you shout to make a job for money? Now take your seat. Take your seat. First of all, before I say a word, for you to have a ministry, uh, but, but can I can I come down? Oh, yeah. I want to enjoy uh, Brescia. <laughs> For you to have such an auditorium, such a place in Europe, it's so common. Right. But no one's asking about black people. Whatever belongs to us, we don't appreciate. Yes. Recently, I was in a meeting. Great people, Chinese. Europeans, Americans, but everybody was there. And at the meeting, they were discussing what they can do for the next 10 years. The Chinese people are planning that very soon, you don't need to carry your phone in your hands. They will digitalize everything about you that once your phone rings, all you have to do is to open your hands mm. and the number will come into you. And so you have to say, Mama, it is saying, hey, yo, it's gone. <laughs> So very soon, everything is going to change. The Americans were thinking what they were going to do to defend this world because they feel that very soon, this world is going to be a bad place. There was only one black man from Nigeria. He's not half Nigeria, he's half Ghana. When everybody was planning how Papa they can advance this life to the next, this Ghana man asked them, so all this you are planning, how can I destroy it? <laughs> you see his mentality. Abro, any pay you? Oh, you are not, you are not clapping enough. You must celebrate your mission. I want to rise up. What are the instrumentalists? Can you make a talk for noise and celebrate your financial health? Papa, what is the name of that place at the branch? What is it? Palazzo. I told them. If you live life and you want people to celebrate you, you must learn to celebrate others. Oh, Ghana for anything. Listen, my young man. Again, on the show. May you be blessed. May your generation be blessed. May your life be blessed. May you live long. May you live long. May you live long. And I know there are pastors who support them. You see, Jesus in his almighty and power, without the help of his people, he could not function alone. Otherwise, he would have done all the work alone. And you know what is sad? When you have to work with people with passion, 
and with the love of God, and you have people around you who are Judases. When I enter here, some of you are shot from your forehead. Church, can we celebrate the pastors in the house? I have been where you were before. I was at the back. The only way the Lord can bring me to the front was when I realized that I must first become a servant before I ever listen to the church members to force myself to go ahead of myself. Before the Lord can make you a master, you must first learn to be a servant. Yeah. Somebody will tell you, Papa, what can I ask you? You have been here for too long. Sometimes, you know what? Tell the person, they that wait upon the Lord. Ah. He mounts them with wings and angels. When the time comes for the Lord, yeah, you will not have to fight, but the Lord himself will let you. Can you give another clap of applause to the pastor's hand? Yes, as a chorus, as a chorister, and as an usher, I wish I knew your dress sizes. Some of the ladies I saw yesterday, I like fashion a lot. I like to dress. So when I saw some of the young ladies yesterday singing, they were singing passionately. If I knew them, I would have in fact purchased Choir dresses, so beautiful for them. Just to celebrate them. Can we celebrate the choir in the house? The instrumentalists in the house? The ushers in the house? The ministry that God has given me in America and the whole world, I try not to travel a lot because I have so much on my hand. But can I tell you one truth? This is your father, them, my baby. I love him rough. Yeah. And because of that love, every time he tells me, my son, come here. Whether I'm in Germany, Ghana, anywhere that I am, once he tells me, my son, come, I'll be back. I said, I'll be back here again. And I'll be back to bless you. I'll be back to bless you. Let's have your neck and drop for that. And this is the last one before I speak to you. By the grace of God, I am a very blessed individual. Amen. Not just blessed because I am eloquent to speak. Not just blessed because God has made me a very handsome young man. Yes. Not just blessed because God has given me great platforms where I speak to dignitaries. Not just that. But my heart that I have for mankind. Papa, I don't need, because of God, I don't need to know you to be a blessing to you. Amen. Am I speaking to you? Yes. The greatest ministry any man or woman can have is not when you see anybody preaching. Christ came to preach. But the best ministry Christ offered was when he offered himself as a sacrifice that a sinner such as me a sinner such as you we can have a place in the body of christ just an out of it to you you are blessed i say you are blessed i say 
invest if you don't invest that's what is causing Christians to suffer poverty these days Papa Christians don't know how to invest but you can never reap profit without investment I have food to eat I decided that this food that I have to eat I am going to plant it in the soil it might be one maize but if I plant the maize on the ground, it's an investment because I have saved my food for tomorrow. Tomorrow when this particular thing that I planted on the ground comes up and bears fruit, one maize, it can give me about a thousand fold. The investment that I made has turned into a massive profit. If you are in the house of God, and you expect my prophecies to bless you. I come with grace to bless you. Whatever words I speak upon your life in the name of Jesus. The words I am speaking, I am seeding. I am planting blessings upon you. For the blessings to work upon you, you must also in turn learn. See, when you go to the house of God, don't go with empty hands. This is why some of you have been in church for so long. You don't pay tight. And occasions like your 35 years anniversary, most of you should have sat down, challenge God alone. If you have blessed this ministry for 35 years, I want to take a seat. And you want to plant into the church. And this is what all of you from today, when you're coming to church on Sunday, you must do. Amen. I'm not coming to ask you for money. I'm giving you revelation. He said, Yes, I yes, shall know the truth. And the truth shall do what? I haven't started preaching. <laughs> On Sunday, when all of you are coming to church, let it be a covenant between yourself and God. I want to serve you, Lord. I want to know you more. Hear what the Bible says. It says, For God so loved. But mama, how can any, anybody love you when you don't have anything to offer you? Love comes from the heart. If you want to accept my love, you must demonstrate something. Prepare yourself, everybody, to honor your own church. Honor your own church. Honor your own pastor. Have you ever planned any blessing? Sunday, are you going to present anything to him or nothing? <laughs> don't do that don't do that you must learn to celebrate great men among you you must learn <laughs> that is how you learn to celebrate listen Christians are not respected these days because we are not seeing the finger of God <laughs> In our lives. First of all, we don't respect God. Second, we talk too much. You, you don't even know your wife. You come to church, you are trying to behave as if you know everything. Your own wife in the house, she doesn't respect you. You come to church, you want to behave as if the pastor, but you are wiser than the pastor. You must respect God. When you go to the house of God, respect God. When you respect God, you pay tithe. When you pay tithe, you support the church with your seed offering. The Bible said your seed is a covenant between yourself and God. Well, since you have been here, have you, have you ever paid any seed to the church? When you paid last, you paid five euros, you are looking for change. <laughs> you might take your seat, close your eyes, everybody. On Sunday, I'm praying for a supernatural miracle in this house. Amen. And there shall be a great performance. Can I hear you say amen? And listen, before I start ministering, I like noise. So when I'm blessing you, shout back to me so I feel more energy to speak. Can I hear you say amen? Baba, I want to preach to you. 
But before I do, can I have somebody take a Bible and read for me? I see from your faces that so many of you have seen me on social media. You have seen me on TikTok, Instagram. But see, when you saw me there, I look older. When you see me here, I look younger. Then you see the finger of God working something. I pray that the power of God will bless you. Ah, can I hear you say amen? John 9, verse 6. Can I have the reader come up and stand by me and read for me? If you open it, don't worry, Mama, come. What's it going about? It's going about it, right? Are Come, come up, come up. I want to enjoy the service with you, Mama. Have a microphone. Can I get a microphone for this wonderful lady? Give her a clap of her on top. The book of John 9, verse number 6. I like your Bible. Okay, but before you read, I want to tell them a story. You need a microphone. See how you are running in the house of God? Yes, sir. If you continue to run like this, God will bring your miracle running to you. Yeah. Mama, before you speak, read. Young man, all of you listen. Why? Mama, I want to tell them a story. The microphone is not working. Okay. So leave the Bible and listen to this story. I won't read too much. But I want to give you a revelation. Because I want to tell them a short story. If you want to read the Bible, I want to tell them a short story before I go to the Bible. You all know birds, right? Yeah. Yeah. There are so many kinds of birds. There is even a bola bear. <laughs> and there, if, you know even a chicken is a bird. Yeah. Yeah. When they are classifying the family of birds, a chicken is also a bird. a bird. It's just like human beings. There is Indian, there is Japanese, Xinjiang, Fu, everybody. All of us, some way, somehow, we are human beings. Yeah. That is why when, if you are wise enough, you should never live life and try to look down upon anybody. Yeah. Some of you, you get small chances that you want to behave as safe. But you don't know what somebody has. Oh. But you know what I want to tell you? When we're classifying birds, even a chicken is also a bird. Listen carefully, I'm telling you a story. Instead of me to preach, I want to tell you a story to give you a revelation before I preach to you, and I'll be very short. There's a white farmer that I know very well. He has a huge farm, very big farm. And in the farm, he has maize, he has grapes, and all over that in his farm. In his farm, there is a huge mountain in the farm. Big, tall mountain. On top of this mountain, mama, he has eagles. Eagles not, don't normally come to the floor to find food to eat. If they will come down, they will come down only to catch um, a prey or something, and then they take it out to go eat it. That's where they belong. That is why the Bible, God said, I will mount you with wings as, you know why, among the birds, powerful. You cannot compare an eagle to any bird, meaning that God has created all of us equally. There are differences. That is why you should not try to be jealous of people. I Am I talking to you? The man, the man's farm has a high mountain, and on top of the mountains. That is where the eagles, they play. One day he went to his farm. While he's running around the farm, he found an egg. A large egg. Wow, what type of egg? This is very big. It's different. So he took it home. 
when he took it home, he had a chicken that had laid eggs. And he was sitting on top of it. So out of curiosity, he took this large egg and placed it under the chicken that has laid egg. And it was caring for them. After a few weeks, all the eggs hatched. And all of them came out. The mother chicken, the mother hen, it has babies and cocomba. When they were babies, you can tell that this one is a little different. It means that among the children you give birth to, mm. never ever think your children are all the same. Mm. God has endowed everybody with a special yes. gift. Amen. Am I talking to you? Yes. So when all the chickens were hatched, they all started growing up. They, they all learned how to eat as the mother chicken. They were eating on the floor. And all the chickens will be making go 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 But strangely, the eagle, the way it cried, was different. Yes, yeah, cry when you know about to cry. Oh, am I talking to you? So, Baba, all of them learned to walk in the house because the way my father used to walk is how I'm walking. The way my mother used to walk is how I'm walking. But strangely, among these birds that are walking and eating on the floor, one accidentally has fallen at the wrong place. Even though his destiny is a chicken, he has been brought up in a home where he's been raised as a chicken. As a chicken. Mm -hmm. But there's a difference between a chicken and an eagle. I'm not talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> they all grew up eating on the floor, walking on the floor, eating maize, eating food that chickens eat. But if you pay attention to the bears crying, you can hear the voice of the eagle from afar. From one day a man heard the voice of the eagle and came up and told the owner, Papa, I've been hearing a strange noise of a bird from your house. I believe that bird is an eagle. I will pay you every money to allow it to go. The owner said, no, that's mine. I'm raising it very soon. I will make and cutting quite chicken cutting quite with it. <laughs> Granot. I mean, in Nigeria we say pepper. Yes. Soup. <laughs> the man begged and begged and begged. The owner said, no, 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 no. No. This bird, it is difficult to catch. You can never even catch an eagle. How dare you? They will go high. The man begged and begged and begged and begged. And one day, the owner decided to give the chicken to the man. And the man said, you know what, this bird, I'm going to allow it to fly. So he took the bird and took it out and let it go. If this eagle had been raised by the mother, it would have trained it to fly. But because all his life, all he has known, he used to walk on the floor. When the man threw him out, he came back down. Can I tell you a revelation? Some of us, God has great things inside us. But if there is no adversity, trouble, challenge, hate, and people treating you bad, mama, you will not even feel the need. So when they threw it out, the bed came down. The, the, the bed, in the mind of the bed, the man is trying to hurt him. Why are you throwing me like that? You can't go in the middle of Mama, I'm not talking to you. The man took it again and threw it out. Then he was saying, hey, 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 now so, you see the afflictions of the righteous are many, but your God, he will deliver you from it all. Can I hear amen in the house? 
So he took the bed again and threw it up. The bed came down because I cannot. Why are you taking me there? So you know what happened, Papa? The man took the bed high up on the mountain, high on the mountain, and threw the bed away. When he threw the bed up, this time the bed was afraid. The bed believed that he was going to die, so he, he opened, the bed opened its wings, thinking that I, I am going to die. But when he opened the wings, he realized I am not going down. He opened it again, I am not going down. Your destiny is not a chicken in this house. Your destiny is not a chicken in this house. Your place is not a chicken in this house. You are an angel. You are an angel. You will get there. You will fly there. You will get there. You will fly 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 there. Take your seat. Take your seat. And then the bird sighed again. I mean, in some of If somebody is here trying to disgrace you, <laughs> if you are a woman and you are married to a man, and I, I know a man in America, in Ohio. He married a woman and had four children with a woman. And then he took a younger girlfriend. Then he began to tell the woman, you hopeless woman, who will marry you? Who will take you for nothing? Even when I'm coming home, I don't want to come. Because the man sees you as a chicken. Mama, there are certain times when people are pushing you and thinking they are pushing you down, they only push you to tell you, open your wings. Yeah. Open your wings. You are naked. No devil, no demon, no witch. No principality from the pit of hell shall destroy you. The plans of God for your life is to cause you to prosper. The plans of God for your life is to cause you to be great. The plans of God for your life is to cause you to be successful. I said nothing. Nothing of your past shall hold you. Nothing of your Don't let your beginning define you. Yeah, I understand that I wasn't born by rich parents. And I wasn't born by educated parents. That doesn't mean that my parents were poor. I should be poor because every man has his own destiny. I can be raised by a chicken, but I am an eagle. So eagle don't hold me down. Where are my eagles in the house? Where are my eagles in this house? Where are my champions in the house? Where are my champions in the house? Where are my eagles in this house? Where are my blessings in the house? Where are my blessings in the house? I say you are blessed. God is faithful. God is faithful. You are blessed. 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 Can I hear you say amen? Seat. Mama, you know what was interesting? When the man was trying to lift up the bed to fly, the chickens in the house had their watch, had their compote chewables. You know what normally the black Americans will tell you? If you're a black American, and among them, you want to try and go to school. They tell you you are trying to be like a white. <laughs> <laughs> Typical black American community. If you are there and you are trying to study your books and try to go to school too much, say you are trying to be like a white, like a white, like a success, like an eagle. Even though I am black, 
But my mindset is not <laughs> My mindset is not poverty. My mindset is not to be a slave. I am an eagle. I am a champion. I said, where are the champions in this house? Where are the eagles in the house? Where are the eagles in this house? You are blessed. 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 Take your seat. And listen to this revelation, Mama. Why listen to this revelation also? Even though the eagle didn't start early to be an eagle, so Papa, it is don't let anybody tell you it is too late to start something. Don't allow anybody to tell you it is too late. Recently, there was a I call in the church for women who were, want to marry. All the ladies came 23, 24, 25, 27. And there's a 67 year old who came. Yeah. <laughs> and they were all laughing. Yeah. Then I said, Mama, can I prophesy? A year by this time, you will marry in the house. She is married in the house. And it's not late. I said, Why are my eagles in the house? Why are my champions in this house? surprised that Ghanaians who hate you. The people who hate me most, who roll their eyes at me most in America and places are Ghanaians. Not just Ghanaians. Ghanaian men. Yeah, Ghanaian men. Usually the reason some of them, I've been wondering later, I realized that some of them the way I carry myself I try, even when I'm going out from my own house, even to my gate, if you meet me. <laughs> but usually, most Ghanaian men, they now want from Kunkrans. They now fit them, fit them, fit them, fit them. It's in the Yiru home picture. Not in the Yiru home picture. Not in the Yiru home picture. You will drop. Now, I'll find a whole time. Mr. Paul, Paul, me, me, I kill. Let me hear my eagle. I say you are blessed. I say you are blessed. I say you are blessed. Nobody can tell you your destiny. Nobody can turn your life around. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. They can hate you. They cannot stop you. They can hate you. They cannot stop you. They can reject you. They cannot stop you. They can rise up and they cannot stop you. I declare that you are blessed. You are. I thought I was going to die. But when he opened the wings, Papa, there is an old song. Old, old song, Papa will know. Oh, here, my drinking. Oh, here, my drinking. Oh, here, my drinking. Oh, here, my drinking. English. Come at your local life. Listen to me, Mama. Joe. He said, "I thought I was going to die in my nest." He thought all the time, but Mama, the Bible said after he suffered, the latter days of Job became better. I prophesy that any suffering in your life, any pain in your life, any rejection in your life, any trouble you are facing, may the Lord multiply you, may the Lord increase you, may the Lord restore you, may your future be blessed, may your tomorrow be blessed, may your tomorrow be blessed. Receive grace to grace, receive grace to favor, receive Receive grace to prosper. Receive grace to prosper. Receive grace to prosper. Receive grace to prosper. Can I hear you say amen? 
Papa, you took your money. And pastors, listen to this revelation. Mm. The woman will understand better. And later the man, when you think about it, you will also understand. If a woman has to be pregnant, there is a season in her body where the body is ready. And if she meets a man, she will be pregnant. So that there are times where you, she can tell you, this season here is free. But there are certain seasons a woman will tell you it is danger. Please don't come near me. I'm not talking to you. In this particular danger moment, her body is ovulating. I'm trying to, the young ladies here and the young men, I'm trying to be a little bit scientific. All right? So there's a season in a woman's body when a man meets her and she's ovulating. When she's ovulating, she, the body is producing eggs inside her. There are so many eggs running around her stomach. You know what, Papa, the eggs are looking for? They are looking for a spermatozoa from a man. If a man goes inside her and the man's sperm meets her egg, there is conception. Conception becomes pregnancy. Pregnancy spiritually is a prophecy of a miracle. Hallelujah. It means that once a woman is pregnant or someone is spiritually pregnant, it means that spiritually she is waiting for a miracle to come up as a baby. Peace and love, church. You know what the woman just did? Anytime an anointed servant of God comes to the church to minister, spiritually, the atmosphere is like a woman whose system is wrong with her. If anybody takes money and you go through it and you put your money into that woman, you know what she has? I know why I took the money. She did see, she got a revelation what none of you are. She saw the atmosphere. She took her money. She ran and put it in it. You know what she has done to herself? She has taken a pregnancy. Don't be surprised that this woman will bear a baby. She will bear a supernatural miracle. Oh, you are not clapping because you are not understanding. You still don't understand what I'm telling you. You still don't get it. That is why you are not giving a clap of it. That is why you are still sitting down. Because you don't understand. The atmosphere is charged for a miracle. The atmosphere is ready for a breakthrough. The atmosphere is ready for a change. The atmosphere is ready for a supernatural miracle. Can I hear you say man in the house? Can I hear you say a big iron man in the house? Can I hear you say a big iron man in the house? Take your seat. So if you are here and you're looking for a marriage, you're looking for any breakthrough. While the word of God is going, you see the child atmosphere. Take money. Not just today, but even while I'm gone. If any servant of God comes here, and you see that it's ministry, and you feel the anointing of the Lord in his voice, take money. Pray over it for your daughter, for your document, for your health. Lord, I put this down. Not because you want to celebrate me. I don't need your celebration. But you want to tap into that anointing right. so that the Lord will bless you. Can I hear you say amen? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, now go. John 9. I don't have to even preach anymore. I've preached already. Yeah. But I just want to give them something before they go and tell people about it. I will go too bad. <laughs> John 9, verse 6. 6. John chapter 9, verse 6. I like your voice. Very nice. Hallelujah. I know you are not clapping for it because you don't want to hear that time. Papa, Papa, on Sunday, can I, the Lord is telling me to do an anointing service and bless them. If the church members are rich, the church will be rich. Amen. If the church members prosper, the church also prospers. The next time I come here, I pray that the church members after your 35 years, you must sit in a Mercedes Benz. Hey! If only one person say amen because of you and they will come But if the members are rich and they are doing businesses and things are going on, 
So when we say, Papa, I don't like your car. Can I buy you a new Mercedes Benz? May the Lord grant you a Mercedes Benz. Papa, baby, to them, I say, I'm going to you anymore. Can I hear you say amen to your father? Come on, read about John chapter 9, verse 6. he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. He anointed the eyes of the blind man oh, with the clay. But I like you. When was it? When was you hiding? I remember the King James I also that. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground. Hold on. Hold on. Let me give them quick revelation because I finished preaching. When I was coming here, somebody asked me, Bishop, these days, people speak a lot of negative things about pastors. So try not to pray for people to shout and fall. And I said, no, I have matured enough. When, when, when you are trying to show off, you are trying to tell people you are powerful. But all power belongs to God. So you know what? You must allow the Spirit of God to flow. You need to try not to do any weird things for negative people to begin to. But Jesus at the time, there was a man that has been born blind. To heal this man, Jesus must use creation and something from naturality to heal the man. So the Bible said Jesus spat on the ground and then he added a bit of saliva, touched the man's eye, and then the man saw, man, I'll continue, please, quick. And make clear of the spittle uh -huh. and he anointed the eyes of the blind man he, with he, the clay he did what he anointed you know the anointing that he's talking about for i have touched the holy garment can you say i have to say one to say to to say Everybody needs the touch of God. What do I do? Everybody, no matter who you are, uh -huh. there are things that no matter how anointed you are, you come see. If pastors come and they behave as if they are powerful, tell them, shut up. Nobody is powerful. We only live by the grace of God. That is why it's good to be humble. That is why, why it's good to allow, let people know that you are a servant to God, but you are not a man, you are not the master of God. Mm. That is why so many African pastors were falling. You know why we are falling? We are falling because we are trying to make ourselves as if we are God. Mm. Am I talking to you in a house? Learn to be humble. Learn to be a servant, not a master. There is only one master. And that master is Jesus. Yeah. So Jesus touched the man. And the, the, the man that has always, everybody has known him as a blind man. Now the man has the ability to see. What in your life have you dreamt? Have you hoped for? Have you wished? But it seems as if it's never possible to have it. Everybody has something. Somebody says, if, if I grow up, I want to be a doctor. But now, you are working in a farm. And the way your hands are doing, now even if you are a doctor, your hands will cut somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but the hope of this man is to become what? A doctor. But remember, the eagle didn't start as an eagle. Mm -hmm. He started as a what? A chicken. But woman, no matter how life holds you down, until I die, I will never stop fighting. Until I finish, and it's never over. Until I have won, until I have won the battle, it is never over. I said it is never over. It is it's never over. Until I have seen the blessings of God in my life, until I have witnessed the praise of God in my life, it is never over. It is never over. It is never over. It is never over. Hey, my, my papa, this woman has she been a school teacher before. 
and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, mm -hmm. which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore, and washed, and came seeing. Mama go ahead, now, now he can see. He has been born blind. Everybody who knew him knew him as a blind man. You know that I could be quite coward, baby. I'm talking to you. Am I talking to you? Yeah. Oh, sister, you marry. You marry, you tell yourself. It's a bomb back. Just say, just say, we're going to you Am I talking to you? There are certain people, mama, they wish that you always rent a house in their home. You, you will never buy a house. But I prophesy in this time, in the mighty name of Jesus, you shall own your own home. You shall not be somebody's roommate. You shall have your own house. You shall have your own home. You shall have your own place. You shall have your own business. You shall own your own business. You shall own your own business. Check can I hear you say amen? The neighbors, therefore, uh -huh. and they which before had seen him that he was born blind, said, They asked him, It's not the sea that sat and begged. And you are quarreling on the new friend. And you are quarreling. Is that not the man that we always know him sitting on the floor blind? Uh huh, Mama, go ahead. And what did they say? Some said, Some said, This is he. Others said, it's like him. You know why? Because they never expect you. Mm -hmm. Papa, you know what? Let me tell you some funny thing about myself. Before me, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 so the first day the Lord bless me. Mm -hmm. you, you know that Mercedes Booker is the, 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 the big one, the fat, big one, the uh, flat No, the, the Mercedes one, 450 GL, 450, the big one. The first one car I bought, I bought that. It was brown. And I was driving it. And I put my hand in there. Yes, sir. And there's a place where there's a lot of Ghanaians. Yes, sir. So I was driving back and forth. I wanted them to see his belief. And then some of them said, ah, he said, some said no. Some of them said, oh, quick, 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 quick. Because they believe that, mama, forever. I'll be working. But the God that put me in that bed, today I stand in your house on the properties of this land, in the glory of your Father, and I prophesy over you. Whatever will turn around, your place will turn around. They will be disappointed. All of them will be disappointed. All your enemies will be disappointed. All your enemies will be disappointed. I said, all oh, your enemies will be disappointed. One by one, they'll be disappointed. Because God will promote you. One by one, they'll be disappointed. Because God will bless you. One by one, they'll be disappointed. Because God, you will get there. I said, 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 you will get there. You will be blessed. You will be favored. Your table will turn around. Your place will change. Your place will change. Your place will change. Your place will change. Lift up your hand and say, I receive it. Some of them said it's not him. Because on the on the the near friend, no man. The day you put a wedding ring on your finger, the people who knew you not to be married, they will say, "Oh, boy, fake." <laughs> But mama, we serve a God that is able. When Nebuchadnezzar looked at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, if I know what he told them, you people, I'm going to punish you. And no God will be able to save you. But one of the young men looked at him and said, Oh, King. Can I tell you something? For we have 
a God. A God that is able. A God that can heal. A God that can restore. A God that can make all things possible. A God that can heal. A God that can bless. A God that can change destiny. A God that can turn the devil around. A God that can heal. A God that can bless. A God that can multiply. A God that can lift. A God that can promote. A God that can make you marry. A God that can bless you. A God that can give you favor. Receive that grace. Receive that blessing. Receive that oil. Receive that oil. Receive that oil. Receive that blessing. Lift up your hands and let Red, red, red. Madam, can you read? Can you read? And he said, I am he. I, I, I am the one. I am here. I am what you what you there, what you there, one. Mala. That's what Fante will tell you. Mala. Mala means Mala. Mala means Mala. What? Any devil, any witch, never expect God to do for you. May that performance happen in your life. May that prophecy happen. May that blessing happen. May that blessing happen. May that blessing fall. May that all your fall. May that favor come. May that favor come. May that all your come. May that blessing come. May that glory fall. Lift up your hands and say, Let's save it. Therefore said they unto him, How were thy eyes opened? And he answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Can I tell you something? Mama, now go to Judges 16, verse 22. But hey, no, don't go there. You listen to this verse. Listen to this. When they asked of him, Sorry, I touched you like that. Okay, sorry. Don't, don't say that I abuse you. Papa, the blind man, everybody classified him as finished. Gang, since childhood, he has lived all his life. Have you thought about it? You live your life, you don't even see the man in the face of your mother before. Whether the sun is out or moon is out, you don't see. People have to tell you what life is about. And Mama, all of a sudden, he met Jesus. And all of a sudden, he can see. You know that revelation I want to give you? Peace and love, church. You know that revelation? I am human. He is human. God is divinity. Divinity is the invisible. Divinity is God. If for any reason, human such as me, chances, because it doesn't often happen, to meet divinity. Humanity means divinity. There is supernatural miracle. Receive us. 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 Just I am your servant. I'm done. Judges 16. Judges. Yes, Judges 16, verse 22. Can I have one of you lift up your hand now? Lift up your hand. Judges 16. Judges 16. Verse number 22. But before I do now, listen, please leave your phone. Listen to this carefully. Lift up your right hand. When they gave birth to Samson, they told Samson's parent that this boy is a miracle child. Never ever cut off his hair. If you cut off his hair, his enemies will get him because his hair resembles his. And how does he feel when after a long time of life, the hair of Samson, his enemies got him? Shave it off. 
After they shave it, something becomes powerless. Have you lived life where you were enjoying at some point, and for any reason you lose your job, your marriage break up, your father dies, your mother dies, and all of a sudden, life turns around for you. Life becomes so painful, so shameful. Sometimes you feel like going to a neighbor to ask them for food. Have you been there before? Why life shakes you to the place where you have to call a neighbor who you used to help to give you money to support your rent? Something has fallen. And his enemies were celebrating. His power was gone. Read the Bible for me. Judges 16, 22. Judges 16, 22. Howbeit the hair of his head began to grow again. However, after he was shaven. Mama, hold on, hold on. However, when they shaved the hair, they believed that he was done. But the Bible said, however, his hair began to grow again. I don't know where you're falling, but the Lord will restore you again. Oh, can I see the faithfulness of God in your life? I say, I don't know where you are struggling. I don't know where you are troubled. I don't know where you are falling. But the Lord shall restore you again. You shall marry again. You shall have your job again. You shall have your miracle again. You shall have your testimony again. You shall have your breakthrough again. You shall experience your blessing again. You shall experience favor again. You shall experience prosperity again. Lift up your hand, everybody. Rise up and make a joyful noise. Rise up. And make a joyful noise. Rise up and make a joyful noise. Rise up and make a joyful noise. Rise up and make a joyful noise. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand, everybody. Your right hand, everybody. I don't want you to shout, I want you to pray. The Lord lift me where I fell. It was the same page of the view, baby, of the shares. I don't want you to shout. Play the keyboard well for me. I need it. Pray from your heart. I don't want you to shout alone. Where I fell. Restore me. One more time. Why broke it? Why God disappointed? Why I lost everything? Oh Lord! Restore my hope. One more. Where I feel, where my children were scattered, where my money was scattered. Where my breakthrough was scattered, Lord, restore my life for more. My enemies who hate me are celebrating. They are celebrating my fall. They are saying I am dead. They are saying it is over. Lord, restore one more time. My business, my finances, my children, my happiness, my health. Lord, restore one more time. All the things the enemy took away. All the happiness they took away. My breakthrough, my miracle, my blessing, Lord, restore. Lord, bring me restoration. Bring my children restoration. Bring the church restoration. All the members who left. Lord, bring us restoration one more time. Lord, one more time. The happiness that is gone. The friends that are gone. All the money that is gone. That now, Lord, we have to beg. We have to beg people to give us money. Lord, restore. Heal our lives. Heal our lives. Lift up.
us up as eagles. Lord, lift us up as eagles. We are not called to be chickens. We are not called to be chickens. Lord, lift up. There's a woman that is it's as if I'm talking to you. You've lost everything, but God is saying, I'm going to restore everything back to you. All the lives you lost. All the lives you lost. God said, I am restoring them back to you. Take it back one more time. Take it back one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. I know you are praying from your heart. Things are turning around. Your tears are over. The days of your shame is over. Amen. Your fears are gone. Amen. The enemies you saw yesterday, you will see them no more. Amen. The Lord is healing somebody. Amen. The Lord is touching somebody. Amen. The Lord is restoring somebody. Amen. The heavens are opening for somebody. The heavens are opening for somebody. The heavens are opening for somebody. Receive the miracle. Receive the breakthrough. Receive the miracle. Receive the breakthrough. Take it all. Take it all. The enemy stole all this from you. You have been given back. All the things the enemy stole from you. The Lord is giving you back a double fold. Amen. The Lord is giving you back a thousand fold. Amen. A blessed fold. Your son will speak. Your daughter will speak. Amen. Your son will speak. Your daughter will speak. Amen. Your child will be able to go to college. Amen. The place God has promised for you shall come to pass. Amen. Those that went ahead of you, you will overtake them. Those who went ahead of you, you shall overtake them. You shall overtake them. You shall overtake them. God is moving in the house. I hear the wings of God moving in the house. God is saying, I will lift you up from the ground. They push you down, but I will lift you up. You will not remain down anymore because that is not your place. You will not suffer anymore because that is not your place. You will not be disgraced anymore. That is not your place. You've lost so much. They assign enemies to come into your life to steal from you. Oh God is telling me, speak to her, speak to him. All the things he loves, I'll restore them one by one by one. People are even laughing at you. People mention your name and they laugh. Close your eyes. God is touching somebody here right now. Somebody in this house is getting a touch of the Lord. Mm. Mm. Receive it. For tonight's service, God said it's for you. Receive it. The Spirit of God is moving towards you. The Spirit of God is coming towards you. You are being loose now. You are being freed now. The Lord is ready to enter. Just open your heart. The Lord is entering you now. Your life will change forever. Your place will change forever. Your circles will change forever. Just allow the spirit to flow. 
There's a particular person here, the Spirit of God is overwhelming you. Something is happening. You cannot even stand on your feet because the power and the anointing and the ocean that is coming towards this person. Jesus. Jesus. Move it now. Lord, take your place. Change your life. Change his life. Right now. Right now. Take it. Move. Move. The Lord is moving you out of your place. Move. Allow him to move. Move. They've been holding you down for a long time. But God is setting you free now. Lose. Allow the tears to flow. Allow the tears to flow. For you are no longer chained. The Spirit of God is moving. Lord, thank you for your presence here. God is moving in this house tonight. God is moving in this house tonight. Take it. It is for you. It is your place now. Take it. Why are you holding back? Allow the tears to flow. Why are you holding back? You need to cry it out that you will not cry anymore. Let it go. struggled for too long. You have cried for too long. You have been shamed for too long. And after this spiritual encounter with the Holy Spirit, you are being let loose now. Now you will begin to witness fruitfulness. Now you begin to witness prosperity. Now you begin to witness healing. Now you begin to witness restoration. Your life will be blessed. Your children will be blessed. Your life will be blessed. <laughs> the Lord is moving. Just open your mouth. Just continue. Money to be there. A woman. A woman. Mama, bring the towel. Finally, you will cry no more. And finally. You will not be shame anymore. All the things you lost, all the things you lost, you will get it back. You have cried enough. You started well, ah, but God is restoring now. Father, by your anointing, Father, by your spirit. Can you bring her here? And as the anointing overwhelms you, and the spirit of God takes you, Father, let your anointing of grace fall upon her to sleep. Let her sleep like a baby. In your power, in your ocean, in your anointing. The Lord, she will get the spiritual Reformation and transformation. She loves you. Lord, she loves you, but the struggle and the pain is too much. Sleep now in the grace of sleep that your life will be transformed. Da. 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 Sleep. As the grace of sleep overtake you, go. Sleep. Now, now, 
Everybody lift up your right hand and begin to wave it. Begin to wave it. Begin to wave it. Amen. And I want to listen to this before I meet you on Sunday. Say, Lord. If I have sinned against anybody in this country, if I have said anything negative against anybody, or I have any hatred inside me, Lord forgive me. I want to be a new person, a better person, a good Christian. I want to be a good Christian. Who can save you well? I am human. I am a sinner. I accept my sins. Lord Jesus, forgive me completely and make me a new person that I can serve you better as my Lord and personal Savior. From today, use me as a vessel to lift up your name that your banner will grow and shine. In Jesus' name. Make a joyful noise and take a Can I have the man stand behind her? Protect her head from falling on the altar, but don't touch her. Push her forward, but don't touch her. So take your hand off and just make sure you stand right close. Don't touch her. All of you straight forth your hands and begin to pray for her. She's about to fall down. Apart from the hair falling on this one, don't touch her. So, church, open your mouth and pray for her. Monitor her. Monitor her. The Lord is doing things in her life right now. She suffered a lot. She started well in life, but she's really struggling. But the Lord is changing things for her now. The Lord is changing things for her now. Your prayers are working. So open your mouth and pray, somebody. When God saw that Adam was alone, the Bible said God put Adam to sleep. When Adam woke up, there was another person by his side. She needs to sleep and sleep very deep. By the time she gets up, her miracle will be ready for her. So all of you say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we command your servant, command your servant to, sleep. to sleep. Say, fall down and sleep. Say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we command your servant, command your servant to, fall down, to fall down and sleep. And sleep. You know why that thing is happening? All of you have issues, pains. If you are living in church and you have pains, unforgiveness, little hatred, no matter how anointed your pastor is, it doesn't work for you. That is why at the beginning I was trying to get all of you to take all things and say, Father, if there is any hatred, there is any anger, 
unforgiveness and gossip and lies inside me. Forgive me. Make me a new person and use me as a vessel in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, Father, we command your woman servant to come under your anointing and fall down and sleep now. Now, 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 say sleep. sleep. Open your eyes and watch it. I want to make sure your prayers are working before I leave here. She's supposed to just fall down and sleep. It means that we are living here with power. Say, Lord, Lord, let the words of my lips be effective. That any word that proceeds from my mouth come to pass. I command her to receive a miracle. To sleep now. To sleep now. To sleep now. Sleep. 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 Try for to us. I want to make sure your prayers are working. She's just supposed to sleep just like that. By the grace of God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, as you receive your miracle in the name of Jesus, just go down. Sleep. Is anybody a teacher in your family? Is anybody a teacher in your family? Is anybody a teacher, a headmaster, a school teacher, somebody in your family? Yes or no? Has anybody got a school in your family? School? Oh, no. Yes. No, no, no. Papa, <laughs> you know what this woman? She's blessed and positioned somewhere in the path of her life. What I have done in Ghana she will do one too. And through that, you know what I have done in Ghana? I have an orphanage. A big orphanage. And my plans is to have a big school for the orphanage. So that a, a child that is orphaned from Nigeria, uh, Sri Lanka, anywhere, once you are an orphan, and you don't have anywhere to go, I will grab you and just love you. I know you are not happy because you will not do that. I have a big orphanage in Ghana and I'm looking for children who have no hope that when they wake up in the morning because of me through Christ they can also have what? Pray about it. Talk about it. The Lord has positioned you where you are standing. That through you, so many children will have hope. And it's ahead of you. It's in your family. Maybe your mother started this small. Maybe your father started this small. It's a mantle that is your family. Go walk in it. And the Lord shall prosper you. Amen. Amen. Can you give a clap of freedom to her? Papa, can I have an offering to take an offering to the seventh family? Can I have an offering to Everybody that is here on Sunday when you're coming to church, I'm not going to ask you to give me a seat. But after 35 years, you cannot come to this church after 35 years and come. That's why I don't want to even raise money because every cast can work as a man with music. But it is your duty as a Christian, it's your duty looking for God's blessing to prepare yourself on this special Sunday that you are coming with a special seat. To be blessed. Everybody rise up. Take a special offering. Can I have only one offering? We'll put the other one that I want to make sure I see the money that put is up. Mama. Mama. Mama, can, can, can you bring this one? And forget this one. Yes. Take a special offering. And rise up. On Sunday, we're going to a special seed to the church. Everybody, those that are here and those that will come, on Sunday we're going to have a special offering here. Rise up. 
Hold on, hold on. Why is there, why is there a uh, choir master? Sir, can you come and give me a nice song? My hands are blessed. Oh, how do I sing that in Italian? <laughs> but I thought, I thought, I thought you were Italian. <laughs> My hands are blessed. Oh, English you can't say. Uh, Italian too. Italian day. Rise up everybody in the house. Rise up, rise up, rise up. 